Yes, another area where mixed models can sometimes um, improve the efficiency of the analysis is if you've got a trial that involves making a comparison within the same units. And I put units because these units can be different things. They might be animals, they might be, I don't know, cells or something that you're measuring repeatedly on. So a sort of example might be that I sometimes see um, people observe a set of animals pre-treatment and then several times post-treatment, but what they're, they're not interested here in comparing between the groups. They want to actually compare, does the pre-treatment differ from the post-treatment values? And if you've got complete data, then paired t-tests or a general linear model would be satisfactory. But if you've got missing data, you can, it would lead to some improvement to use a mixed model and you would get more accurate estimates if you and more sensitive tests as well if you fitted animal effects as random because it would in include information from animals with missing data. So I haven't got an example sort of readily to hand to show of that but I've got an example which was taken from a clinical study 